In these problems, we want to determine the trig function values using the unit circle. So if we sketch the given angle in the standard position, the point where the terminal side intersects the unit circle will give us all the information we need to determine these trig function values, meaning cosine theta is equal to the x-coordinate, sine theta is equal to the y-coordinate, and tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. So for 90 degrees, our initial side will be here, We'll rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. So the terminal side of our angle will be here. So this ray will intersect the unit circle at the point zero, one. So cosine 90 degrees is equal to zero. Sine 90 degrees is equal to one. And again, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. In this case, we'd have one divided by zero. Well, one divided by zero is undefined. Therefore, tangent 90 degrees does not exist. Let's take a look at some more examples. Here the angle is 150 degrees. Let's go ahead and sketch that in standard position and see where the terminal side intersects the unit circle. So rotate counterclockwise 150 degrees. That would be here. And the terminal side intersects the unit circle at the point negative square root three over two, one half. So this tells us that cosine 150 degrees is equal to negative square root three over two. Sine 150 degrees is equal to one half. And tangent 150 degrees would be equal to y over x or one half over negative square root three over two. So here we can multiply both the numerator and denominator by two or two over one. So these two simplify out and we're left with negative one over square root of three. So if we rationalize that, we'll have negative square root of three over three. Let's try one more. <clears throat> Here our angle is negative 60 degrees, so we'll rotate clockwise this time to here. So the terminal side of the angle would be here and it intersects the unit circle at the point one half negative square root three over two. So cosine negative 60 degrees is equal to one half. Sine negative 60 degrees is equal to negative square root three over two. And tangent negative 60 degrees is equal to y over x. So we have negative square root three over two all over one half. So again, if we multiply both the top and bottom by two, or if you want two over one, all the twos simplify out. So we're left with negative square root three all over one, or just negative square root three. So as you can see, the unit circle is very convenient to determine the sine and cosine function values of these angles that have nice reference angles.